In this insightful journey, we delve into the multifaceted landscape of one of the most prevalent cancers worldwide. From understanding the risk factors and symptoms to exploring the latest advance ants in treatment and research, this video serves as a comprehensive guide to navigating the complexities of colorectal cancer. First a quick clarification, colorectal cancer and colon cancer are closely related, but they are not exactly the same. Colorectal cancer refers to cancer that originates in either the colon the large intestine or the rectum the last part of the large intestine. Colon cancer specifically refers to cancer that develops in the colon. So while colon cancer is a type of colorectal cancer, colorectal cancer encompasses both colon cancer and rectal cancer. Now that we have that out of the way, please join us as we embark on a journey of discovery, awareness, and hope in the fight against these diseases. Understanding colorectal cancer risk factors and prevention strategies colorectal cancer is influenced by a variety of factors, both genetic and environmental. By identifying these risk factors and implementing preventive measures, individuals can take proactive steps to reduce their risk of developing this disease. In this video, we'll delve into the various risk factors associated with colorectal cancer and explore strategies for prevention. Risk Factors 1. Age Colorectal cancer primarily affects older adults, with the risk increasing significantly after the age of 50. However, cases among younger individuals have been rising in recent years, underscoring the importance of awareness and early detection across all age groups. 2. Family history Close relatives with a history of colorectal cancer or polyps may indicate an increased risk for others in the family. 3. Dietary factors The diet high in red and processed meats, as well as low in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, has been linked to an elevated risk of colorectal cancer. Additionally, excessive alcohol consumption and obesity are known dietary risk factors. 4. Lifestyle choices Sedentary lifestyles, smoking, and heavy alcohol consumption are lifestyle factors that can contribute to an increased risk of colorectal cancer. Regular physical activity and avoidance of tobacco and excessive alcohol intake can help mitigate these risks. Prevention strategies 1. Screening tests Regular screenings, such as colonoscopies, Fecal occult blood tests FA and sigmoiscopies are critical for early detection and prevention of colorectal cancer. Screening can detect precancerous polyps or early stage cancers when treatment is most effective. 2. Healthy eating habits Adopting a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins can lower the risk of colorectal cancer. Limiting consumption of red and processed meats, as well as sugary and high-fat foods, can also contribute to a lower risk. 3. Lifestyle modifications Engaging in regular physical activity, maintaining a healthy weight, and avoiding smoking and excessive alcohol consumption are essential lifestyle modifications for colorectal cancer prevention. These habits not only reduce the risk of colorectal cancer but also promote overall health and well-being. 4. Genetic counseling Individuals with a family history of colorectal cancer or hereditary conditions associated with an increased risk should consider genetic counseling and testing. Identifying genetic mutations early can inform personalized prevention and screening strategies. While certain risk factors for colorectal cancer, such as age and family history, are beyond individual control, many preventive measures can be adopted to reduce the risk of developing this disease. By maintaining a healthy lifestyle, participating in regular screenings, and staying informed about genetic risk factors, individuals can take proactive steps to protect their health and well-being. Early detection and prevention are key pillars in the fight against colorectal cancer, offering hope for a future with fewer cases and improved outcomes. Detecting colorectal cancer early understanding symptoms and screening colorectal cancer, while daunting, is often manageable and treatable when detected early. Knowing the signs and symptoms can lead to prompt medical attention and potentially life-saving interventions. In this video, we'll explore the various symptoms associated with colorectal cancer and emphasize the significance of regular screenings for early detection. Recognizing Symptoms 1. Changes in Bowel Habits Persistent changes in bowel habits, such as diarrhea, constipation, or changes in stool consistency, can be early indicators of colorectal cancer. Pay attention to any alterations that persist for more than a few days without obvious explanation. 2. Rectal bleeding One of the most common symptoms of colorectal cancer is rectal bleeding. Abdominal discomfort 
Persistent abdominal discomfort, including cramps, bloating, or pain, may signal colorectal cancer, particularly if it's localized or worsens over time. While these symptoms can have numerous causes, they should not be ignored, especially when paired with other signs. 4. Unintended weight loss Unexplained weight loss, particularly if significant and occurring rapidly, can be a concerning symptom of colorectal cancer. While weight loss can be attributed to various factors, it's essential to investigate further, especially in conjunction with other symptoms. Importance of early detection, regular screenings, and diagnostic tests are crucial for detecting colorectal cancer in its early stages when treatment is most effective. Here are some key screening methods. 1. Colonoscopy, considered the gold standard for colorectal cancer screening. Colonoscopy allows for the direct visualization of the colon and rectum, enabling the detection and removal of precancerous polyps. Fecal Occult Blood Test fought. This non-invasive test detects hidden blood in the stool, which can indicate the presence of colorectal cancer or precancerous polyps. 3. Flexible sigmoidoscopy, similar to colonoscopy, but focusing on the lower part of the colon. Sigmoidoscopy can detect abnormalities and is often used in conjunction with other screening methods. 4. Virtual colonoscopy CT colonography. A less invasive alternative to traditional colonoscopy, CT colonography uses advanced imaging techniques to examine the colon for abnormalities. Early detection of colorectal cancer significantly improves treatment outcomes and increases the likelihood of successful recovery. By recognizing the symptoms and participating in regular screenings, individuals can take proactive steps to safeguard their health and well-being. Don't hesitate to consult a healthcare professional if you experience any concerning symptoms or if you're due for a colorectal cancer screening. Your proactive approach could make all the difference in your health journey. Navigating colorectal cancer diagnosis and staging colorectal cancer diagnosis involves a multifaceted approach, integrating various tests and procedures to accurately identify the presence of cancerous cells and assess the extent of disease spread. In this video, we'll explore the diagnostic process for colorectal cancer and delve into the significance of staging. Diagnostic process 1. Medical history and physical examination The diagnostic journey often begins with a comprehensive review of the patient's medical history and a thorough physical examination by a healthcare provider. Symptoms such as changes in bowel habits, rectal bleeding, abdominal discomfort, and unintended weight loss may prompt further investigation. 2. Imaging tests Imaging studies, including computed tomography CT scans, Magnetic resonance imaging MRI and positron emission tomography PET scans are valuable tools for visualizing the colon and rectum, as well as assessing the presence of tumors and potential metastases to other organs. Colonoscopy Colonoscopy is considered the gold standard for diagnosing colorectal cancer. During this procedure, a flexible, lighted tube with a camera is inserted into the colon to visualize the inner lining and detect any abnormalities, such as polyps or tumors. Biopsies may be taken during the colonoscopy for further evaluation. Biopsy Tissue samples obtained during colonoscopy or other procedures are examined under a microscope by a pathologist to confirm the presence of cancerous cells. Biopsy results provide essential information about the type, grade, and stage of the cancer, guiding treatment decisions, laboratory investigations, blood tests, such as carcinobryonic antigen CEA levels, may be performed to assess tumor markers and monitor disease progression. Staging Staging is a crucial aspect of colorectal cancer diagnosis as it determines the extent of cancer spread and guides treatment decisions. The most commonly used staging system for colorectal cancer is the TNM system, which evaluates the primary tumor T, regional lymph nodes N, and distant metastases M. Stages range from zero early stage cancer to for advanced stage cancer. Stages range from zero early stage cancer to for advanced stage cancer. Stage zero, cancer cells are confined to the inner lining of the colon or rectum and have not spread to nearby tissues or lymph nodes. Stages I and 2 cancer has spread beyond the inner lining but remains localized within the colon or rectum or nearby lymph nodes. Stage 3. Cancer has spread to nearby lymph nodes but is not metastasized to distant organs. Stage 4 cancer has metastasized to distant organs, such as the liver, lungs, or other organs, indicating advanced disease. 
The diagnostic process for colorectal cancer involves a comprehensive evaluation of symptoms, imaging tests, colonoscopy, biopsies, and laboratory investigations. Staging plays a pivotal role in determining the extent of disease spread and guiding treatment decisions. Early detection and accurate staging are essential for optimizing treatment outcomes and improving survival rates in patients with colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer treatment options Colorectal cancer treatment options have evolved significantly over the years, offering patients a range of modalities to address the disease. A comprehensive approach often involves a combination of therapies tailored to individual patient needs. Let's explore the various treatment modalities available for colorectal cancer and the importance of a multidisciplinary approach. 1. Surgery. Surgery is often the primary treatment for colorectal cancer, especially in cases where the tumor is localized and has not spread to other parts of the body. Different surgical procedures may be performed depending on the location and stage of the cancer, including local excision, removal of small tumors confined to the inner lining of the colon or rectum, colectomy or proctectomy, removal of a portion of the colon or rectum, Total colectomy or proctocolectomy removal of the entire colon or rectum. Lymph node dissection removal of nearby lymph nodes to assess cancer spread. 2. Chemotherapy. Chemotherapy involves the use of drugs to destroy cancer cells or prevent them from growing and dividing. 3. Radiation therapy. Radiation therapy uses high energy beams to target and destroy cancer cells. Radiation therapy is often combined with chemotherapy chemoradiation for more effective treatment. 4. Targeted therapy. Targeted therapy drugs work by targeting specific molecules or pathways involved in cancer growth and progression. These drugs are designed to block the action of abnormal proteins or genes found in cancer cells while sparing normal cells. Targeted therapy may be used alone or in combination with other treatments, such as chemotherapy or immunotherapy, for advanced or metastatic colorectal cancer. Immunotherapy. Immunotherapy harnesses the power of the body's immune system to recognize and attack cancer cells. It works by stimulating the immune system or by removing barriers that prevent immune cells from recognizing and destroying cancer cells. A multidisciplinary approach involving collaboration among surgeons, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, pathologists, radiologists, and other healthcare professionals is essential in developing personalized treatment plans for patients with colorectal cancer. These treatment plans take into account factors such as the stage and location of the cancer, the patient's overall health and preferences, and the potential risks and benefits of each treatment modality. By tailoring treatment to individual patient needs, Healthcare providers can optimize outcomes and improve quality of life for colorectal cancer patients. Titled Nurturing Survivorship Enhancing Quality of Life for Colorectal Cancer Survivors Colorectal cancer survivorship encompasses a journey fraught with challenges, ranging from physical and emotional side effects to the management of long-term symptoms. In this video, we'll explore the hurdles faced by colorectal cancer survivors and discuss strategies for improving quality of life and supporting overall well-being. Challenges faced by survivors 1. Physical side effects Colorectal cancer treatments, such as surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy, can lead to a range of physical side effects, including fatigue, nausea, diarrhea, bowel dysfunction, and neuropathy. These symptoms may persist long after treatment completion, affecting daily functioning and quality of life. 2. Emotional impact Coping with a cancer diagnosis and its aftermath can take a toll on survivors' mental and emotional well-being. Feelings of anxiety, depression, fear of recurrence, and adjustment difficulties are common among colorectal cancer survivors, impacting their quality of life and overall satisfaction. Post-treatment surveillance after completing primary treatment. Survivors require regular surveillance to monitor for cancer recurrence and manage potential late effects of treatment. Follow-up appointments, imaging tests, and laboratory investigations are essential components of post-treatment care, contributing to survivorship challenges. 4. Long-term management survivors may face ongoing management of treatment-related symptoms, such as bowel and urinary dysfunction, neuropathy, sexual dysfunction, and fatigue. Additionally, comorbidities and lifestyle factors, such as diet, exercise, and smoking, cessation, play a role in long-term health and well-being. Strategies for Enhancing Quality of Life 1. Multidisciplinary Care. Collaborative care involving oncologists, 
primary care providers, nurses, psychologists, and other healthcare professionals is crucial for addressing survivors' diverse needs and providing comprehensive support. Symptom management tailored symptom management strategies, including medication management, dietary modifications, exercise programs, and complementary therapies for example, acupuncture, massage, can alleviate treatment-related side effects and improve quality of life. Psychosocial support counseling, support, groups, and survivorship programs offer valuable psychosocial support, helping survivors cope with emotional distress, navigate life after cancer, and foster resilience. 4. Healthy lifestyle practices Encouraging survivors to adopt healthy lifestyle practices, such as regular exercise, balanced nutrition, stress management, and smoking cessation, promotes overall well-being and reduces the risk of cancer recurrence and other chronic diseases. Education and Empowerment Empowering survivors with knowledge about survivorship care, self-management strategies, and available resources enables them to actively participate in their care and advocate for their needs. Colorectal cancer survivorship presents unique challenges, but with comprehensive support and proactive management, survivors can lead fulfilling lives beyond cancer by addressing physical, emotional, and practical needs and promoting holistic well-being. Healthcare providers can enhance the quality of life for colorectal cancer survivors and empower them to thrive in survivorship. Breaking new ground advances in colorectal cancer research and clinical trials Colorectal cancer research is witnessing remarkable advancements, ushering in innovative treatment approaches, biomarker discoveries, and precision medicine initiatives. In this video, we'll delve into recent breakthroughs in the field and explore the pivotal role of clinical trials in evaluating novel therapies and enhancing patient outcomes. Recent Advancements in Colorectal Cancer Research 1. Immunotherapy Breakthroughs Immunotherapy, which harnesses the body's immune system to fight cancer, has emerged as a promising avenue in colorectal cancer treatment. Recent studies have demonstrated the efficacy of immune checkpoint inhibitors, such as pembrolizumab and nivolumab, in select subsets of patients with advanced colorectal cancer, leading to improved survival outcomes. 2. Precision medicine approaches to advances in genomic profiling and molecular characterization have paved the way for precision medicine in colorectal cancer. Researchers are identifying key genetic mutations and biomarkers associated with treatment response and disease progression, enabling personalized therapeutic strategies tailored to individual patients' genetic profiles. Targeted therapies Targeted therapies directed against specific molecular targets implicated in colorectal cancer pathogenesis have shown promise in clinical trials. Liquid biopsies Liquid biopsy techniques, such as circulating tumor DNA ctedna analysis, are revolutionizing cancer diagnostics and monitoring. These minimally invasive tests allow for real-time monitoring of disease progression, detection of treatment resistance, and identification of actionable mutations, facilitating personalized treatment decisions. The role of clinical trials Clinical trials play a pivotal role in evaluating the safety and efficacy of novel therapies and advancing the standard of care for colorectal cancer. Exploring novel therapies, clinical trials evaluate a diverse range of investigational therapies, including targeted agents, immunotherapies, combination regimens, and innovative treatment modalities. These trials aim to identify promising interventions and bring them to the forefront of clinical practice. 2. Biomarker Discovery Clinical trials facilitate biomarker discovery efforts, enabling researchers to identify predictive biomarkers of treatment response and resistance. Biomarker-driven trials stratify patients based on specific genetic mutations or molecular profiles, allowing for more targeted and effective treatment approaches. By evaluating new therapies and treatment strategies, clinical trials drive improvements in patient outcomes, survival rates, and quality of life. The landscape of colorectal cancer research is evolving rapidly, driven by groundbreaking discoveries and innovative clinical trials. With continued investment in research and collaboration across the scientific community, we can harness the power of precision medicine and targeted therapies to transform the treatment paradigm for colorectal cancer and improve outcomes for patients worldwide. In this video, we'll hear from individuals affected by colorectal cancer and explore the wealth of support resources and advocacy organizations available to them. Patient Stories 1. Mike's Journey to Resilience Mike, a colorectal cancer survivor, shares his journey of diagnosis, treatment, 
In Survivorship, Susan's role as a caregiver, Susan, a devoted caregiver to her husband, recounts her experience navigating the complexities of colorectal cancer treatment, from attending medical appointments to providing emotional support. Susan highlights the importance of communication, compassion, and self-care in the caregiving journey. Advocacy in Action with Tom Tom, a passionate advocate for colorectal cancer awareness, shares his commitment to raising awareness, promoting early detection, and advocating for improved access to screening and treatment options. Through his advocacy efforts, Tom aims to empower others to take control of their health and seek timely medical intervention. Support Resources 1 patient advocacy organizations organizations such as the colorectal cancer alliance fight colorectal cancer and the american cancer society offer a wealth of resources educational materials and support services for individuals affected by colorectal cancer these organizations provide assistance with navigating treatment decisions accessing financial resources and connecting with peer support networks online communities online platforms including social media groups forums, and virtual support groups offer a space for individuals affected by colorectal cancer to connect, share experiences, and seek advice from others who understand what they're going through. These communities foster a sense of belonging and provide valuable emotional support. 3. Survivorship programs Survivorship programs, offered by cancer centers and hospitals, focus on addressing the unique needs of colorectal cancer survivors beyond the completion of treatment. These programs may include survivorship clinics, wellness workshops, counseling services, and rehabilitation programs aimed at improving physical, emotional, and psychosocial well-being. The voices of colorectal cancer patients, caregivers, and advocates serve as powerful reminders of resilience, courage, and hope in the face of adversity. By sharing their stories and experiences, individuals affected by colorectal cancer inspire others raise awareness, and drive positive change in the fight against this disease. With the support of advocacy organizations, online communities, and survivorship programs, those impacted by colorectal cancer can find strength, resources, and a sense of community to navigate their journey with confidence and resilience. Thanks for joining us on this journey. If you found this information helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, your health is your wealth. Every like and comment helps others discover the path to a happier, healthier colon. Please, leave a comment about your door to health, so we can share and help each other along our journey towards a healthy life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth, and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.